Eric Tov covering my name, Stephen Benin. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very disturbing information coming out about this uh, shooting in South Florida here. Uh, the Florida shooter, of course, allegedly right now is Nicholas Cruz. Uh, and the article here, we actually picked this up in Russian news a little while ago there, and we checked it, and it, of course, it was here on Fox News as well, that the uh, Florida shooter, Florida high school suspect Nicholas Cruz claimed to hear voices in his head, according to the reports that are coming out right now. Now, we're, gonna, we're bringing this up for a specific reason. It's very concerning what we're hearing here. Uh, I want to first look at a little bit about what is being reported right now, and then we're going to go into why we're actually addressing this issue here. Uh, Nicholas Cruz, who confessed to being the gunman in Wednesday's deadly Florida school shooting, according to his arrest affidavit, claimed to authorities that voices in his head told him how to carry out the ambush that left at least 17 people dead, ABC News reported. Law enforcement sources referred to the alleged voices as demons, according to the outlet, and said Cruz 19 claimed that they told him what he needed to do to launch the deadly assault. That's very troubling in light of the information that we have shared many times here in the past on Israeli News Live from a private conversation I had years ago in Washington, D.C. with a Secret Service agent there. Now, I'm going to go, re- go into this why we're looking at this in just a moment here, but let's first let's back up just a little bit here. Uh, Alex Jones is reporting here, evidence mounts Florida attacks Attacks is a giant false flag. Red alert is what he's calling the article or the YouTube video that he did here. I want to play a little clip on here because it's going to, the, 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 the whole scenario will begin to line up when you see in which direction we're going to take this into here. All right. So, and again, I'm not saying that the, that the killing at the school was a false flag per se myself. I do believe that students were killed in this attack. I do believe that this was a very heinous crime, but I am very concerned about some of the information that we're hearing about right now in light of the information that we're very much aware of that we'll go back over here in just a moment here. Let's listen to what Alex Jones has to say right here on this particular uh, part of his broadcast. Let me make sure we have our volumes turned up all the way here because I want you to be able to hear this very well. Listen to this. His YouTube channel and Jalen Martin has reported to us that four weeks ago there was a secret service team drill at the school for some reason. He'd already asked why it was going on and then he now has talked to the faculty and has some very interesting developments to go over. And I know why is this so important? We're not saying the Secret Service, the local police, or anybody are involved in this, if there is a cover-up or multiple shooters. All right. Of course, Alex brings up the, the issue about multiple shooters. He talks about the Secret Service. He doesn't believe that them or law and local, local law enforcement are involved in it. All right. I concur. I agree with this. But it's a very strange scenario that I'm going to be sharing with you here because of what's being said here. Uh, before I go into that, I want to share with you another clip uh, that I pulled up on one of Alex Jones' programs here back on February the 9th, 2016, a year ago. Remote Neural Monitoring Basic Description. Listen to this right here, this clip here, please. In 2007, of course, it had been around for quite some time before then. Army has something they call Voice to Skull. We've got the Air Force using microwaves to create sounds at Brooks Air Force Base. We've got the Marine Corps with their Medusa project. We've got the State Department, as reported by the Washington Post in 2005, working on voices implanted in people's heads. We've got a couple of companies, one that has patented something called Hypersound, that's American Technologies, has also got Holosonic Research Labs, also has a patent. All right, that's just giving you an idea of all the different patents that are out there, the military applications to using the voice to skull, uh, as uh, it is mentioned here on Alex Jones' uh, program here. And very concerning, very concerning information that we're seeing here. All right. And I'm going to go into one other issue as well. Um, and this here is uh, uh, the, another video that Alex put out about the uh, school shooting. Alex Jones, second hour Thursday, two 
uh, February 15th, uh, 2018, news analysts and witnesses video clips. In this particular news clip here, it is being uh, spoken by one of the students there that they're believed to be multiple shooters. In fact, after uh, they seen Mr. Cruz walking with no weapon, there were still gunfire go going off inside of the school. All right, now I'll, I'll quickly go into that real quick because I was looking at the sound bite here. Uh, I actually pulled the sound bite up. This, of course, there's a they've cut the they cut a little section out as they edited uh, this particular sound bite that we found on Twitter, and we were looking at the gunshots in this sound clip. And I'm just going to back up just a little bit for you here uh, to get a little bit better idea of what's going on, and then listen to this. As the gunshots go off, I'll play this real quick and then I'll explain to you what we're looking at on this. All right, on that last set of audio, we hear different type of gun sounds on there. I actually pulled it up in our editing software here just to get an idea of the signature of the gunshots. These are the signatures right here. On the gunshots that we heard first in here, uh, we have a high peak and then it, and the gunshot goes down. On the last part uh, of the gunshots there that are being fired that we hear right at the very last, whoop, get it right here on the screen here for you guys. It's not easy to move this around very well. Uh, it's a little, this is still, when, the, when, the, uh, when it was actually cut in the screen there, we still have the same type of gunfire, a high peak in the sound signature, but the, the next gunshots are here, here, and here. The sound signature has a low, then a high, and a low, then a high in the actual sound signature. Now, I'm not saying this from an expert point of view, uh, and saying this, I, I am, and when I was in law enforcement, I was a distinguished master of arms. Uh, so I have a tremendous amount of knowledge in weapons and how they work. And I understand the audio and the sound. Now this could also be different as a result of the same shooter uh, leaving maybe a doorway, turning around, facing in a different direction. It could change the sound signature a little bit, but it's just a little bit different in the way the audio sound signature here is compared to the sound signatures in, in this particular gun firing as well. So could that suggest the possibility of a second shooter? That may very well be, but that's not as much what concerns me as what we heard here on the uh, audio clip here, Alex Jones speaking about the young man that they were having on that was a student there at the school uh, that spoke about the secret service that was there a week before doing drills there. And as Alex says, not saying that they were involved in anything or any kind of cover up, it's just simply saying that they were there. But it brings up what I have shared with you guys many times in the past here. When I was in Washington, D.C., it's been a number of years ago now. I can't even tell you exactly what year it was. I know that Obama was president of the United States at the time. And I was in D.C., and I actually met with one of Obama's Secret Service agents there. Uh, he was a believer in Yeshua. That's one of the reasons why we were meeting together. But we spoke about uh, the situations that were, that had just had been going on at that time uh, of the man that had set itself on fire at the Washington Mall there at the mall there in Washington DC and about the woman that had ran the Washington the White House gate there with her car with a little child inside of course the man that set himself on set himself on fire as we were talking privately he mentioned to me that what happened over in uh, that would cause the Arab Spring where the man in uh, uh, Tunisia had set himself on fire he said that was done using this military technology that they have uh, to be able to project the thoughts in the mind of that man. He set himself on fire. He said it worked in, uh, and I always get the name wrong, T T Tunisia or T I forget it. I I'm just, I'm not going to get the word pronounced right. I apologize for that. But anyway, he said that set the Arab Spring in motion. And he told me then, he said it worked there, but it didn't work in America. And I was bewildered at the very statement. And I asked him, what do you mean by that? He said, they want to disarm the nation is what he was telling me. He was sharing with me. They want to disarm the nation. And he said, the problem is we, you can't get the American public to rile up. 
You can't, you know, they were, I assume that the Obama administration was looking to, to create some kind of racial tensions like they had the Arab Spring over in Egypt that they to destabilize that entire region, uh, that they were trying to do something similar here in the United States, but the people never responded to it. But the point was that he claimed to me from what I was gathering in this conversation is that the government was using that type of technology to project it into the human mind to get these people to react. I brought this up recently, friends, when we saw the, uh, the man that set himself on fire over in Iran and how there's been all types of uh, unrest there. And was that being tried once again? Was it military technology projecting that thought in that man's mind? Because oddly enough, in this case of this young man here, he's actually saying that he heard voices. Now, the police are calling it demons, but... He supposedly confessed that, you know, he heard voices in his head was telling him how to carry out this act. Since when do you just get voices in your head that give you the details of how to carry out a mass murder? I think it's very suspect. Uh, and with the fact that uh, Alex Jones is reporting that uh, the, the young man that he had on his program here, and I'll, I'll show you, let's see, that's the girl that says that there was multiple shooters after shifting over from uh, Astro's camp to coverage of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. I talked with Alexia Mindek, a senior at Douglas High School. She never saw a gunman, but she says that she knows the alleged shooter. And I think, I'm not sure if she's the actual woman that was actually saying that, uh, that there was multiple shooters or not, but I'm, I want to get the actual man that he was, there he goes right here. Jalen Martin that spoke about that there was the Secret Service doing a drill the week before. And of course, the reports that are coming out saying that uh, they had were, this was actually the very day they were planning on doing a code red drill, which is a drill for an active shooter and then having the reality of a real active shooter in there. Uh, very troubling, some of the things that are coming out, friends. And I, I can't say myself that any of this is really connected. I just find it rather peculiar that we're seeing these types of things coming out. And you guys already know, we don't normally get into U.S. news very often here on Israeli News Live. We mostly deal with the Middle East, things that are happening there, uh, which is very troubling. Uh, we just had a, a report coming out from Reuters that, were, that Reuters is claiming there were dozens of Russians that were actually killed in the airstrike that the U.S. Uh, conducted on the Syrian in retaliation over near Azor. Uh, that's another troubling issue that we're looking at right now. Russia finally, instead of saying there were only 25 wounded, Maria Zakharova is coming out and saying that indeed there were at least five Russian mercenaries working for the Wagner Group that were killed. But uh, reports, according to Reuters right now, is saying that there were dozens that were killed there. Very troubling information is coming out of the Middle East, and that's normally our focus stays there. We deal with the Middle East, we deal with Russian, uh, U.S. relationships, uh, North Korea, etc., uh, Ukraine, all those places there. We don't get too much in the U.S. news, but when I heard this information here, the Secret Service, uh, being there at that school the week before, and then knowing the knowledge that we've had ourselves, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I can't even say, I couldn't even tell you who the guy was now because I don't even remember the name. It's been so long ago, but uh, I was invited there, spoke with him privately at his home there in DC, and was very shocked to hear the information that I heard then. Could they be related? Could it be mind control technology? And then, of course, the shooter himself saying that. Uh, uh, you know, the alleged shooter here saying, Mr. Cruz here saying that he had voices in his head telling him how to do it. It's just a little bit too odd to me. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Support the broadcast we're doing, please, here. We do need your help in making this stay on the air. And also, we have got a whirlwind of information that we hope to be bringing to you tomorrow. I know it'll be a blessing to you. Some prophetic insights that will no doubt just blow your mind away. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Erev Tov. Shalom. Shalom.